Hey there everyone, uh, another video, another build. Uh, this time it's uh, 3.2.1, uh, just some uh, fixes and a couple of incremental changes to the 3.2 build. Um, so let's get into it. And the first thing I want to uh, tackle is the theme manager. I've changed the UI. Uh, so gone are the buttons over here that allowed you to uh, delete a theme, rename a theme, duplicate a theme. They're all controlled now via this context menu that appears when you select a theme. OK. So for example, if I duplicate this one, all right, there's our dupe. I can go ahead and do whatever I need to do. Let's delete it. Um, and as you saw, when I performed the theme deletion, it didn't cause uh, an entire uh, page refresh. Keeps you in there. I don't know how often you're going to delete themes, but just letting you know, that's another change. Um, but one of the fixes I made to Theme Manager in the first place, or that's why I was focusing on Theme Manager, is um, I noticed when... I allowed videos to be included or, yeah, to be included in wheel item templates. Any view that included wheel item templates with videos, the audio would be playing in the background. <laughs> so, um, and, and of course, these thumbnails are static. They're not dynamic. So um, there was no point in playing audio. Um, and because it was playing audio, the video was playing. So I've ensured that when I grab um, a static image of the theme, it, uh, it no, it's no longer playing videos in the background. And the same is true for animated GIFs. OK, so it's more of a performance improvement. But the audio thing was definitely a, uh, a bug or an oversight on my part. All right, so that's that's theme manager. Um, just some, like I said, some subtle UI changes here. Um, let's double click on what's new in three point two point one. Uh, let's see if um, I go into editor. Again, another little. UI change up here is on the Windows uh, title bar, <clears throat> you can actually see the resolution um, of the canvas, your editing canvas. OK, um, so if you go into wheel item templates, for example, and I'll see if I can remember which one is is which here. Uh, it's not that one. This one, good example. So this wheel item template um, actually has an alternate size, OK? Depending on if it's selected or not selected, all right? And as you can see, as I flick between the two states, the resolution up here, the canvas resolution is, is being updated as well. So at all points, while you're in the editor, you can actually see what the current resolution is uh, is set to. All right. So that's another little UI change. Let's go back into views. We'll go here. And I don't know if you noticed, but in animations, uh, I've applied an animation to the wheel. So by default, 
I set the opacity to zero. Then after uh, 1.5 seconds, I gradually fade in, a slow fade in. All right, that way you don't see the wheel building. All right, um, but what I've done here is, and if I just add a rectangle and go to visibility conditions, by default, I won't show it. I'll make it visible when the wheel's opacity, which is new, is, let's say, 100%. And there you go. All right, so if I refresh the page, the wheel is now visible, so is the rectangle, okay? And actually, while I'm in visibility conditioning, um, I don't know what I've got here that I can leverage. Let's say game value. Now, the starts with ends with in 3.2, I believe they were case sensitive. That's no longer the case here. So you don't have to specify lowercase er or uppercase er. It doesn't make any difference. All right. I'm just letting you know. So that's another change that I've made here. Uh, let's discard. Um, yeah, let me delete this. Um, so while I'm in the editor, let's say I want to add a badge. I've now added achievements, has saved game, has saved states, okay? So that is all 34 badges, um, I believe Big Box currently leverages. So I now support them all. Um, let's see. And if you notice in the wheel here, um, when I'm selecting different games for this wheel item, I have a, a reveal animation. And that is now possible. And I got to find. Oh, it was this one. So I'm, I'm using this uh, circular reveal animation. And real simple. I have a, an ellipse up here. And if I disable the movements, then I can get to the properties. So I've added a new animation, border thickness. So all I'm doing is... Um, adjusting the border thickness, in this case of an ellipse, um, to uh, fill to its maximum. And then when I want to reveal, I um, reduce the uh, border thickness to zero. All right. And I'll be including uh, this particular theme and all these wheel item templates with the 3.2.1 build as well. All right, so that way I don't have to go into all the specifics. You can actually see it and you can borrow those techniques. Um, let's see. Let's go back to... Oh, and as we were talking about animations... <laughs> Uh, I didn't realize this, but um, 
if you are moving or animating a frame, a frame UI element, up, down, left, right, it doesn't really matter, um, it would cause the um, theme to crash, okay? So that's now being fixed. You can animate frames as you were able to do prior to 3.2, okay? That was, again, that was an oversight, but that was a big one. Uh, any crash is a is a is a is a no no. Um, let's see. Oh yeah. So horizontal view. And if I double click the virtual gamepad, uh, tips appear. So show search index is down, and up is to hide the search uh, index. Okay, I'll do that again. All right, so now you get tips, button tips on the virtual gamepad, if there are any, uh, depending on the view or what you're trying to do. Okay, so I go down and now you can actually interact with the search bar. Okay. And uh, following on with search bars, we have a wall view. And again, if I double click the virtual gamepad, tips show up. It's saying that the show search index and hide search index, index share the same button. So I press button A and lo and behold, our search index appears. And again, you can interact with it, okay? And again, same styling as before. And talking about search indexes, um, <clears throat> the, 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 the way it looked in Community Theme Creator versus how it looked in Big Box, there was always slight variations. Um, I, I, you know, I can only hazard a guess, but when running in Big Box, Big Box is probably supplying different values to the uh, search index, um, causing the font to be a, a different size of what you were uh, uh, used to seeing in Community Theme Creator. Anyway, I spent a considerable amount of time yesterday comparing the two versions running in big box and community theme creator so now i've come up with um, a method of uh, being able to edit view in community theme creator and it should be 99.9 .9 accurate uh, within big box now okay so if you're wondering why there were differences between the two uh, hopefully that is now corrected. Um, let's see what we've got. I think we've pretty much covered everything here. So just to recap, um, I've included tips on the virtual gamepad. Um, so you can clearly see if there are any uh, special features or uh, button presses or what have you that can perform a reveal and actually <laughs> there were there was one more so again double click virtual gamepad entering game details exiting game details button a and b so i know i've shown that in previous videos but now with the tips you know that you can perform this functionality uh, within this particular view. Okay, so tool tips on the virtual gamepad is a new feature and being able to interact with a search index, uh, obviously when it pops up, and um, the ability to add search indexes to wall views now. Okay, and obviously the accuracy um, of how the search bar or search index actually looks in big box. All right. So though, th those are the, you know, the major takeaways from 3.2.1 and then some of the little enhancements 
Um, you can have visibility conditioning or conditioning based on a opacity value of a given element. Um, you can um, now animate an ellipse and rectangle's border thickness. Okay, so if you want to do some kind of interesting reveals, you can leverage that type of animation. Um, badges are now fully supported, all 34 of them. Um, and basically just, you know, some UI cleanup and some enhancements in both the editor and theme manager. All right. So that pretty much concludes 3.2.1. I will put it onto uh, Patreon as soon as this uh, video is available up on uh, YouTube. And uh, as always, thank you very much for supporting me and uh, providing feedback and um, just general comments uh, and, and sharing some of uh, your work in progress. It means a lot. So uh, until the next uh, round of changes or enhancements, take care, everyone.